Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Ender here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide. And this time we are getting it all in, dot dot dot, in Rays of the Light. <laughs> now this really excellent yet short adventure game was developed by Noskov Sergei, published by Sometimes You and is available for usually £6.69. But when released on March 17th, 2021, it will be on sale for just £5.35, but of course watch out for any future sales etc. So we play as Mr. Unknown, or a little North Korean fellow called J.K. Un, Identity. As in, we don't know. <laughs> but anyway, we explore an abandoned building, solving puzzles, and going through a life that once was yours. Now as for achievements, uh, they are easy enough to get, but not all of them are straightforward. And by that, I mean it's mainly to do with how to unlock the two endings with the quickest solution, which I have got for you, so you don't need to go through the whole game twice. Now when we get into the main menu here, go into your settings and I highly advise just to turn the brightness up to 1.6. There's basically going to be a section of the game where it's going to get extremely dark and there's going to be a loud and quite intense noises. So if you want to put the volume up, you're more than welcome to do that. If not, blast it up and, you know, crap yourself because there's no enemies that can kill you but the noises do get quite intense. Also, we need to be collecting 12 notes to keep an achievement uh, for an achievement, so let's keep an eye out for that. So, we'll get this game done in about half a, half an hour or so, but when we begin, immediately turn around from the TV and go out, and do not pick up the flashlight that is on the wall in front of you. Do not pick it up. Instead, we're just going to head to the right and go in through the first open door here, and then just pick up the pipe, which is in the sink. We're going to be smashing some sh... No, we're not. Go to the door opposite, and then mash the A button until your biceps rip that open massive keep walking forward and there's going to be a door on the left by the way uh, use the left trigger to sprint sorry almost forgot to tell you that left trigger to sprint and then walk forward and go through the only open door what we're going to do then is just push this wardrobe out of the window walk up to it and your whole steroid strength will just smash that out unlocking us the oops achievement god steroids are awesome Anyway, through the next door where it says steward, and then we're going to break the plank on the, off the door off that as well, and then head to the opposite end of the room, and the and we basically go unlock the code. Obviously, you can find the code around somewhere, but it's 047, so 047 is the code. If you want to search for it, of course, you can, but we've got now the tape for the tape, the tape for the projector. So head over there and go. keep going straight. And we're just going to be heading down the stairs. But as we go down the bottom of the stairs, turn immediately to your right. Enter the first day, uh, door, which says security. God, my words are pathetic today. Sorry. Anyway, here we find our first collectible note. And that pigeon that flies in the window, that's going to unlock us an achievement. That is story related. Anyway, glad to see you. To see you. Nice. Only British people will get that, I think. Anyway, collect. make sure to grab the key there from the wardrobe before heading back out. And then heading down the sort of main foyer bit. You can see the exit to go outside, but we're not going outside just yet. On the wall right there is the map. So obviously interact with that. Pressing the A button, that's going to unlock us the plan achievement. And then head through the next doorway. And then if you want, just kick the crap out of this soda drinks machine right here. For some reason you're angry, I don't know why, but it does unlock us an achievement and it doesn't get us any soda, so that stinks. Anyway, have a look at the payment phones on the wall and make sure to grab the quarters or the pennies or the Russian coins. I don't know. And then go through the next sort of doorway here to find the next note. So that should be collectible note. Two out of twelve now. Have a look. Uh, behind you, have a look in the metal wardrobe and make sure to grab the second key. That should be your second key that you've already grabbed now. And when we get out of this room, turn left and we are heading outside. Now, like I said, make sure to be sprinting using the left trigger because we cannot stay in the sun for more than three minutes. And this is to do with one of the endings. So sprint towards the bus on the left here and then smash it open with the A button. Smash it, smash it, smash it, smash it. And then for some reason I'm having a little bit of difficulty walking on a bus. So if that does happen for you, just do a couple of jumps and your event you should eventually get there. 
To be honest, you should be able to walk on a bus no problem, but I must have like gammy leg or something. On the right is a note, so that should be note number 3 out of 12. Drop right by the driver's uh, wheel there, or the steering wheel, and then turn around, have a look at the gas can, make sure to pick that one up. So there is a note and a gas can we need to grab on this bus before heading out. So, immediately sprint back, sort of straight. Only this time we're going to head to the right and as you can see, there is the um, wardrobe that we pushed with our roid strength earlier on. But just beyond that, in between these two sort of, uh, like a bench and a wardrobe door or something, there is a key on a plank of wood, so make sure to pick up that one. Continue heading straight, and then we're going to head left immediately, and go back into the yumminess that is the shade. And then what we're going to do is keep, basically keep going straight past the stairs and back outside. Like I said, sun is good for you, but if you want to get one of the two endings, we need to be out of the sun. The vitamin D, no, not that kind of vitamin D, you dirty gits, is not good for you in this particular ending. So head downstairs here, which was to the right, and now we can go into the basement. And what we're going to do is going to be another collectible note for us to grab on this table right in front of us next to this candle. So make sure to be grabbing that one as well. Perfect. So turn around, and uh, we're going to be getting another achievement, and it's going to start getting very dark very soon. Grab the lighter that is on this table. Now, of course, we can use the lighter. It's only the flashlight for the achievement that we can't use, so don't worry, we need to be using that anyway. So we're going to head back up now. Again, always make sure to be sprinting. Turn around and just go. continue going straight, sort of down these little steps for now. And there you will see a locked door with like a walkway. So that's where we go in. So head immediately up, the, up these little sort of steps. And now, um, to get your inventory up, use the right bumper. Press the right bumper, scroll over to the lighter, and then obviously interact with it using the A button. As we've been doing for the majority, that will open up the door for us. And now we can be good to go. So we're going to, there's a, another collectible note on this table as we enter this little. Sort of death room, what it looks like. I don't know, like bum death room, I don't know. Head up the little stairs, and this is like a small little puzzle we need to do now. So open locker 1, locker 4, locker 6, which is obviously the very right-hand side one. And then we can open locker 2. So it's 1, 4, 6, 2 in that order. And that gets us the fuse, which obviously we need to be... I don't actually know why we're doing that. I don't even know why we came back. But anyway, what we're doing is heading straight back to the abandoned building directly in front of us. So again, sprint like Usain Bolt had 40 pieces of KFC before breaking the world record for 100 meters. We need to be running like that now. Jump, run, 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 run. It's through to the basement once again. There we go. And like I said, the, the noises are going to start getting a little bit more intense now, which is why I said about you can ch turn the volume down or up if you want. Um, open up this electric box right here, interact with it, the fuse automatically goes in. Um, you interact with the, f f ugh, the gas canister on the left and then interact with the lever while this cutscene happens. <gasps> oh my god, I could take a break. Yeah, sorry guys, so apologies if the commentary and the gameplay is going a bit fast, but it's just it's just one of those games where it's just constantly going. So, the lights are going dim. The lighter that we have is really not that great for light, but it's better than totally nothing. So, we're going to get our lighter up. Remember, a right bumper to bring your uh, inventory up, get your lighter out, and then move straight forward. Right then, so once we are through the door, we're going to come to this room right here. There's a light in the sort of bathroom at the back there. So go in here first, and we need to be grabbing another collectible note, so make sure to pick this one up. But basically, this is like an infinite loop corridor. Um, we need to go through the same corridor five times where this map is. We need to be... Go there's only sort of one path you can take. You cannot get lost at all. Um, but we need to go through here four times before a new path opens up for us. 
Um, little bit of advice, I tried sprinting the whole way through, the lighter got dim on my third way through, so I got really lost and confused because I couldn't see where I was going. So if the light does get a lot dimmer, either just walk, walk a little bit, walk and sprint sort of when you need to. And as we can see, we're already out of that first instance of the corridor. As you can see, the bathroom with the light already on and the same map. So it's, it's a very short one, but we need to go through it, like I said, a total number of four times. But if your light, like I said, does get dim, go into your inventory, walk around with your pipe for around 10, 20 seconds or so, and hopefully when you get your lighter back out, it will have refueled, refilled, and you should be good to go and see a little bit better. Otherwise, like I said, just go through this a four times. I think you got that in your head by now. <laughs> And you'll know you've obviously done it right, you'll see this wooden pallet on the floor, and to the right there is a new pathway we can walk down. Huh, awesome, awesome. But, we are not done quite yet with the darkness, in fact it gets a little bit more annoying, only slightly though, only slightly. So, we're in this sort of lightened room for a minute, make sure to have a look at the table as the place achievement unlocks for us. We're going to grab another collectible note there, so again, make sure to be grabbing that. And then we can head through the locked door on the right. Now, my advice is to sort of hug the right-hand wall. Because it's going to get even darker. Um, but there are little things in the environment that you should be able to see. As in barrels, candles, etc, etc. So, so that you're following. So hug the right-hand wall. Go to the right-hand side. You should be seeing a pallet on the left. And like, I don't know. Look, probably a dead body or something just underneath us there. And then just keep going down, keep hugging this right hand wall, you can see a rolled up blanket uh, just in front of us there, but there is another right hand side um, path to take, so just before that rolled up blanket, that's where we go in. Now you should be able to see two barrels directly in front of us there, go to the left and you can see these three candles. You don't have to interact with anything, but just walking up to them basically opens up a new path for us, somehow. Because video games, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, heading back again, keep hugging that right-hand side wall. And you can see this flashing bit of red light. But we're not going to go to it yet. So, go to the right. And again, keep hugging that right-hand wall. And you're going to see this candle. Should be seeing that candle on the table. Keep going forward, turn to the right. And there's going to be a collectible note for us to grab. Which is why it was important to grab this before going through the door. So now, just go straight. And we are almost done with this section, but go to the right before going straight there. Go to the right again, you should now see a wooden pallet. And just keep going straight. It's, it's really tricky, it is quite difficult to see. But if you get stuck, of course, just jump using the X button there. And then keep going straight round, and there we go. We, ha we are basically out of this section though, thank god. That was a goddamn pity. You see the barrel on the right hand side, but we are just going to go straight to where that candle is. Again, if you do get stuck, just uh, do a little jump and a hop and a skip and a step and a jump and a hop and a skip. And then if you sort of go left from where we were, it's, again, quite a few jumps are going to have to happen. Go to the right here, see that sort of bit of circle vent or something. And then we have finally made our way through. But before we interact there with the lock, if you keep going straight, uh, go to the candle that's directly in front of us. There is going to be another collectible note for us to grab. So make sure to grab this. If you do miss some, there is chapter select available at the end of the game. So do not worry about that. Anyway, uh, interact with the uh, lock there. The code will be 638. So that's 638, the 
the lock will drop off and we are now done with the darkness section so to be honest that was probably definitely my least favorite part of the game uh, I know it was all intents and purposes for tensity and crappy selficity uh, but yeah just just annoying wasn't it really um, but anyway we're done with that now so we're back into the light and um, what we need to do is a uh, answer the phone first which is on the table so we're going to get an achievement once again and you can put your lighter away now if you want we don't need it for the time being uh, go into the next room and have a look at the collectible note once again just be making sure to grab this in the room that was on the left from the phone and then what we can do right bumper get your big old uh, wacky de wacky de backy pipe out and we're good to go again so as soon as we head outside do another bit of Usain Bolt sprinting go directly in front of us to the right very slightly we go we're going over to this bench and by this bin or trash can right here make sure to be grabbing up picking up the can that's going to get us the trophy achievement and then immediately you can have a look at the sky if you want some weird crap starting to go down but again we're going to do a little bolt sprint right back up to this abandoned building and head through Again, try not to make sure. Try to make sure that you're not outside for too long. Again, you can get your light out as it as it is a little bit darker now. But what we're going to do is head through these double doors and head all the way down until we see a little grabber machine. The ones you see in Butlins, which you waste like sixty-eight pounds on, and you win like one pathetic toy. This time it's a lot easier and it's for free, so we're incredibly happy with that. So. It is, you just press the left directional stick to go left. Obviously, you press the A button once to do the grab. As you can see there, I was I obviously didn't, didn't do that by accident because I am an idiot. I obviously meant to show you that. <laughs> so you go right down, and then hopefully you should be able to pick it up. It's basically sort of in the middle, and it gives you a lot of leeway if you're not even close by it. So, happy days. So uh, press and hold the A button to quit and then pick up this little package right here. Can be potentially a little bit finicky as it took me 30 seconds for some reason to grab that. Head back down the end of the hallway and through the door again. And this time go to the right and we are heading up the stairs this time. So go to the right hand side, sort of stairs, or left hand side, or whatever. And there's a big door with a big X on it, with a big lecture sign on it. So that's where we're going. Which is why we got the keys earlier on. So go to this sort of, uh, you know, this main part where the professor usually speaks. And on the little, you know, the little singular, whatever they're called, there is a collectible note on it. You know, the professor's looking and he's looking all angry and being like, Hey, you listen, you little bastards. I'm going to pick that right now. Anyway, that's where the collectible note is. So we're going to head directly right and down. And basically, we've got like a little sort of circuit breaker puzzle to do. It's, it is as easy. Uh, press the A button to interact with it to turn the green light on once. And then press the A button again to actually go inside of the puzzle. Without lube. Oh, well, flub me. Anyway, if you want to just have a look at the finished puzzle, just simply skip ahead to... 19 minutes and 5 seconds. Oh, hello there, guys. Did you finish the puzzle already? Good. So, we should have got that one finished. Very, you know, it's easy enough matching up the wires, you know. You can't beat it. Simple, pimple, rajimple, dick dimple. I'm the worst poet I ever knew it. Anyway, this time what we're going to do is head back into this main area and head all the way up the top of the steps now. What we're going to do is actually watch a film. So, you can see the projector on... Uh, you know, it's pretty fairly hard to miss. At the back, we're going to interact with it. And basically, this film... I have no idea what's going on personally, but... We get an achievement called Play... Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Bloody hell. 
but this uh, film lasts for a couple of minutes and you have to watch the whole one because the door is actually locked the door that we need to get through is actually locked until we or oh, until this film finishes I'm actually gonna cut this video down by about 30 seconds or so just to save a little bit of time in the video um, so obviously you'll probably have to pause it at this point but when you see nature will say thank you this is basic and the big explosion this is basically the end of the film so when you see that we are now should be good to go so there's only one way we're going and that is back through the exit we came well, kind of spooky if you think about it we've got to watch a film otherwise the ghosts of deadness won't let us out oh screw you buddies so go back through the door like I said if the films play in that door will be locked and now we are basically at the end but there is one more collectible note that we are going to be grabbing so yeah so your first playthrough will only take 20 minutes and then it's just a couple of minutes extra for the rest of the achievements so head to the right head to the right hand path now don't go straight head to the right before you go past the two TVs um, for some reason he kind of wants to do a little walk and a barely a run keep going straight and then what we are going to see is like a big bright light at the end but before we do that we are going to take a right so here is the big bright light but there is one right hand path that we're going to take which is this one head to the left and the last collectible note will be at the end and when you grab that the achievement reader should then unlock And so when that is done then just turn around, head to the end of the corridor, head to the right and go into the white light. Don't worry, it just means you're dead. Oh no! So this is the important part there. So to, to be grabbing one of the two endings, we had to make sure that we were not outside in the sun for too long. If you go through the white light and another sort of cutscene plays, that means that we've done that bit correctly. If you were outside in the sun for too long, you will start floating up, which means you will still get one achievement for the one end, but you'll actually have to play through the game again to grab the other ending. So, as long as you've been following along fine and you were not outside in the sun for two minutes this cut scene should play and then we can get the second playthrough ending within literally a couple of minutes so hopefully you guys got this one as well you better add because I would be disappointed for you So we are just going to watch the credits, they're very short, they only take about 30 seconds and then we're going to be thrust back at the very start of the game again which is where, like I said, we're going to be getting the secret achievement for watching the secret film and for completing the game with basically being outside in the sun for a couple of minutes. So stay tuned, many exciting developments coming up right now.
So there we go then, so now you should have unlocked the Forever Achievement. Like I said, that was for not being outside in the sun for too long in the original playthrough. So hopefully you would have unlocked that as well. But from the start, we're basically going to go down and through this left door. And then head all the way down. We're basically going to be going up the stairs. As long as you don't get yourself caught on absolutely nothing, obviously. Through these double doors, uh, down the stairs, sorry, rather than up. Close enough. And then through the next set of double doors to the right. And then we're going all the way down. Basically, we're going to be doing another Butlin 68 pound wastage grabbing machine again. Only this time it's a different canister. It's basically the secret film. It looks like a tin of tuna. It's in a different place this time, so, you know, just sort of have a couple of goes. There's not really any sort of tactics that I particularly used. I just, you know, seen with my eyes, seen where it was, and then grabbed it. Sorry, that just helped no one. Again, can be kind of finicky to pick up, though. Annoyingly finicky. <laughs> there we go. So, and basically what we're going to do now is basically head back to that same lecture room. The last room where we, uh, just before we completed the game. So, we're going out of the double doors. We're going back up the stairs. And then we're going, obviously, up here to the left. And the door is already open for us this time, which is slice and nice. And this time we're just going straight up the stairs. We're not pissing around with anything, and we're just going to watch the secret film. Once again, then, I have cut the secret film down for a little bit of time. Um, but we don't actually have to watch all of it. We can actually just quit back out of the main menu after we do this. So, you don't actually have to watch it. You can if you want, because it's very uh, interesting, let's just say. Yeah, yeah, interest, interesting, it's fine. So, go to load game, go back onto chapter 7... Where we're basically going to start once again in this piassing lecture room. Get your lighter out for a little bit of light, a little bit of warmth because it looks dodgy and smelly in here. But we're going to go back out of this lecture room for the minute. Going through these double doors on the right, going down the end of the hallway. Basically what we're going to be grabbing now is the flashlight. So we are actually going to be using it. So go right. And this is basically obviously at the beginning of the game. So interact with that. And to use the flashlight, you just press the Y button once. That's all you got to do. And we're just basically going to keep it on. There's basically really no need to, but, you know, why not? We haven't had it all through the game. Maybe I want to use the piss and flashlight. And for some reason, we grabbed the lighter out as well. So go straight ahead, and we're going to go through the double doors here. Eventually, when they stop hitting me in the ass. Going down the stairs. And basically, we are now going to head outside. What we're going to do outside is wait the three minutes. So if you want to have a look at your phone, get a stopwatch, get a timer going or something. But you've got to know, make sure that you are outside, chilling, sitting in the sun for around th at least, at least three minutes. So you can have a little look, walk, walk around if you want. I'm obviously not going to be showing you the whole three minutes. But one little awesomely cool, cool, cool Easter egg that I wanted to show you was, should be on this wall right here, ah, there he is, look, Joaquin Phoenix's Joker, and that is just, that's, that is really a cool easter egg that they put into the game, so if you want, you can just sort of wait your three minutes out here, but like I said, make sure you are waiting out here for at least three minutes, I was looking at my phone, to be honest, and almost forgot, so it took me about five minutes to realise, but this basically helps us get the other ending achievement, so, with that done, now we can head back up into the old abandoned building. The basement can suck me. We ain't going back there again. You can flood me off, like. But we now are basically nearing the end of the game. So we're going to head back up the stairs once again. Head all the way down to the other end of the room. We're basically going into the lecture room. We're going to watch the film again. Sadly, there's no popcorn. It kind of looks like irradiated death popcorn. So there's the lecture room with the big X on it. And I'm not up for asbestos popcorn, to be honest. Not my cup of tea. Although then again, I'm pretty starving constantly. The only one more little annoying thing we've got to do is do that circuit breaker puzzle again. It may be the same, it may be random, but anyway, if you want to from now, make sure, of course, to interact with it until the light goes green. But just head to 30 minutes and 10 seconds to see El Finish Producto.
And there we have that then. So we are once again good to go. We're going to go up watch the film again. But like I said, again, you'll probably have to pause the video because I um, edited the... I edited this point down for a little bit of time, just to save a little bit of time on the video for you, that's all. But obviously when it gets to the same point, it's exactly the same film as well as through the first uh, first playthrough. So, you know, bombs and shit. I don't know what's going on. I've got no idea. Anyway, so I've edited down and it's basically we're going to end up going through the door, going through that same weird ass TV corridor door. Door, 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 corridor. Remember to take a right here just before you go past the two TVs, there's nothing at there. Again, you should have collected all the collectibles by now, so the only thing that we've got left is to just keep going straight, go through the two white lights. Now the second ending you should get is you actually going up in the sky with all the other doomed souls before you go through the second white light. Now if you've done that, you've obviously done that correctly. If not, and you get the other end in again somehow, you'll basically just have to start this video from 22 minutes again, sorry, and stay out in the sun for a little bit longer. Get that vitamin D on your skin. And no, not that vitamin D, you dirty gits. <laughs> And there we go then. So one of those really, really annoying and satisfying endings where you go through all that just to sort of start floating in the sky and be dead and stuff. It's not really what we want in video games, especially in long ones, you know, Red Dead Redemption, etc. Nobody wants to die at the end of a game after working your balls off or your women balls um, <laughs> just to die at the end. But this is what we've got. And there should only now, if you followed the video correctly and you've had a great time doing it, we should now only have one achievement left, which is the it's the very grindy walking five kilometers. Which just why do you put? But why? Why did? Why does anyone put walking or driving so many miles or kilometers in video games? Why do they do it? But it's what we got to do. Huh? The stuff we do for achievements. Что-то прекрасное в заброшенных и полуразрушенных останках былой цивилизации. Это отголоски нашей многогранной истории. So that's why I was leaving that uh, little scene play for a little bit longer, just to make sure the achievement unlocked for us there. So like I said, we now should have one achievement left, the God of Walking Simulator. Chances are, if you followed the guide, you probably wouldn't have got it by now. So what we can do is just load up the game again, go back onto chapter 7, and um, basically all we're going to do is just head outside. That's literally the only thing we're going to do. So whip out your lighter. Uh, go to the left, head down the stairs, head outside. Or, <laughs> I don't know, Go, just go down some stairs. There's an exit somewhere. But that should be that thing, guys and girls. So obviously if you've been 
uh, follow along obviously like I said chances are you probably wouldn't have unlocked this but if you've been having a look at yourself and just following the guide sort of snippets here and there you may have already unlocked this but literally the only thing left that you can do is just keep walking up and down and all around um, I'd put a film on or put put a episode of something on if you want because it does get very boring very fast these grindy achievements but this is where I am going to take my leave then guys and gals so thank you so so much for watching I really do hope that you enjoyed the game I really hope the guide helped as well the achievement will pop here um, yeah hope you had some good laughs along the way as we always do thank you so so much don't forget of course to like comment subscribe and share with a friend if it did help don't forget to check me out on all my socials Twitter, Instagram, Patreon as well. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters, especially TimG84, and I'll see you in the next one. Big love.